Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on um, Sims 3 Creator World. So let's get that started up. Alrighty, so we have... <clears throat> Alright, sorry, I'm a little sick today. So Anyway, we have our uh, Sims 3 World tool open. So let's just click these little... Uh, pins so we can get rid of that and make our screen bigger. Um, the only one you really need to keep open is metadata, um, <clears throat> which is like all the stuff that you can put in the game or the world. Sorry, let's open a world. Commons, I guess you call it, or town center, and then we have all of our roads and lots of lots which where we put all our houses and community lots now I'm going to show you how to build all this today so let's start off with a new world let's say um, a small flat map 200 it says 200 you have to change your maximum height to 200 and choose lush or desert I think I'll do lush Alrighty, so here we have our small <coughs> uh, th um, island. Let's start off with making a center lot to start off our town. So we go to lots, then we go to add new lot, click. Alright, please add a new layer before adding a lot. That means, come over here. To world layers, right click on world layers and add layer. To add a description, you also right click and say add add descri description. Okay, so anyway, now we can add uh, lots. I'm gonna start with a 64. Let's turn on the grid mode. Uh, that's good for placing nice, precise roads. So let's, and we can also minimize that. Alright, so let's drag out a 64 by 64 lot. Just click and then drag. You don't need to hold. And in the bottom right down here, you'll see 64 times 0. That is the size of our lot. And as you see, when I drag this way, it goes to 64 by 64. So it'll be a community and let's say big park. You can set an additional property value, which how much, when you get into the game, how much money will be added to it if you want to purchase it, if you change it into a residential lot. Beautiful vista, uh, like with how, um, how much mood your sims are going to get from that if they're on the lot. Okay. So I have it inside our squares. Now let's add some road and road. If we click on our road placement, then we can place roads. Let's start off with intersections, which are three by three squares. So I know exactly where to put them. Here, 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 and here. Then we can click and place road. I don't recommend pulling out the road total length the first, in the very beginning. We'll do that right after we get all our roads down. So you may notice that I still I can't move over here. What you want to do is go place road intersection and go click back to road. And that's the fastest way I have found. Alright, when we're done with that, you can go to our Move World Objects. You need to click on this so you can move around the uh, roads. You need to click on the blue down here and drag it to the side until it pop, until it snaps. And you see the crosswalks. There we go. Oop. There we go. And there we go.
Alright, so now we have our town uh, center park. Let's add a place for a town hall. So, 64 again, which would be right here to right here. Let's say by 64 again. Community, and we also in this we have city hall. And press OK. Uh, let's say we want roads going around that also. We do the same exact thing we did just a second ago. Let's go to the move tool again and drag this out. Drag it out. Alright, so now we have our city hall and our park. And let's say we want to add a little, maybe a lot for our <coughs> uh, like bookstore, grocery store, movie theater. Let's get another 64. Yeah. And we probably need about like 40 uh, community. I don't think there is a preset for that. So then we'll go here. And now we're going to want to start on our um, actual neighborhood part. <laughs> 